bought some cars in my little box, and uh, yeah, it is time. It's mm, nothing like the smell of slot cars in the morning. All right, here's the sideways Ford. Mark's been tuning on. Got the decals on. A little bit of chewing up and everything, but this is a pretty nice runner. Man, it goes pretty good. I'm going to give it a few laps here. And, uh, man, it's just gripping. The tires are excellent. He just did a little chewing on there, and, man, just, uh, well, you know, it's sideways. Again, a brand we've known to count on is synonymous with quality and performance man sharp car and it goes well done very nice and here we are bench side checking out his 5050 proxy build that's going on oh yeah just another beauty just another beauty. Let me give that a test drive. And the Winston Cup proxy car. Check it out. This thing's looking good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice chassis there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like being nosy. It's fun. Looking good. All right, just setting up a little Nemo here. Just some... Real, uh, real basic stuff. First of all, swapped out the tires. Went with the sideways 1910 mediums, and they fit the wheels great, uh, obviously. And uh, I like this compound out here on this track. It's a good start. Took the screws from the outside of the pod. I got rid of them just testing, and then loosened everything up and threw some masking tape here. I like using masking tape for the the tape until you find that sweet spot. It's just easy to peel off and to work with, but. Uh, have the front end set up here a little bit. Oh, he has the screws there. Really like that. So, slot, it's got a really nice product here. And uh, just with the tire change, it's scooting pretty good. With no weight. There it is. No time on the tire truer. Just change those tires like I showed you. Remove those outrigger screws from the pod. Just as a test, a starting point. A little bit of tape. Adjusted the front axle. Put a little, put a little naphtha on the tires to get them sticky and clean. Otherwise, we're just rolling them over tape. This car right out of the box. Just, that's exactly why slot it gets the accolades they do because of this. Very nice car. Well done. If you're looking for a good investment, yeah, you go. You gotta give Slot it all the credit in the world there. Nice running car. Fun times. Yeah. This is his entry for the, he thinks might be for the Trans Am Proxy over two liter. Man, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Mm hmm. Just a little flex right there. Wow. I'll bet you this thing goes. Let's find out. Oh, well, of course it does. No, it's a non-magnetic track and car. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, my. What a beautiful running car. Wow. That thing. Jeez. What a beauty. Uh-huh. That'll do. Here we are taking a look at Mr. T Jet's chassis. Look at that. What is that? It's just got float everywhere. Mm. That's a nice looking build, sir. Mm. You always get us. Definitely unique, right? <laughs> George, put your modified out here. Just a running. Mr. Squire. Dr. Michael Squire there. Amateur gynecologist. He's got a great car. Smooth. There's T Jet's car out there running. Oh, I'll have to change cars now. I think I'll have to go to the Shotgun Dave special there. Yeah. That'll do too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Runs great, man. Oh, this year's showdown's going to be a blast. 
Nice running. Nice. Oh, and leave it to me. Yeah, ha -ha. Pink car, Austin Healy. For the 5050 proxy. And what motor's in there? Your, your uh... 18K. Yeah, the 18K. Slim line. The pendle slot tires on 14-inch wheels. Or 14-inch. 14s. Harry, not 14-inch. Look at that. Mm. Oh, leave it to me. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. Thing runs great. In the hands of a driver. Yeah, it's okay. Just needs a good driver. No, this is nice. What a great classic. It's a great proxy. It is. It's a neat idea. A lot of fun. A lot of great builds out there. Oh, yeah. Just awesome. And just to wind up today, just slot it in your GT40s. These are certainly, uh, <laughs> certainly a little time apart, this being a much older release. Still runs great, and to me, this is probably the release of the year this past year as far as our repaints go. Is this uh, this uh, infamous car, uh, the Ken Miles car? Very important release for our hobby, but yeah, Slot has been making these GT40s for a while, and they are just a blast. Anyway, hope you all had a great day too.